Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here with you, uh, back with you with some more calculus. So in this video, I wanted to go over a couple of examples to, to be uh, specific. Examples on using the definition, the limit definition of the derivative to figure out the derivative, specifically the one with the H in it. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do, again, two examples, one with the H, and so that you can see how we're going to use some algebra to come up with the derivative of a function using the limit definition. So let's get to it. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's go and recall here that the limit definition, and the one I'm using here is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is going to be equal to the derivative of that function. So here's what we're going to do. Let's do this first example. I have a function x squared plus 2x minus 1, and I want to find f prime using this limit definition. Limit definition. So um, what I need to do is I need to plug in x squared. I need to actually find f of x plus h. So f prime is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h. So I'm going to put x plus h everywhere I see an x. Oops. 2 times x plus h minus 1 all over h which is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Now, I want to remind you not to forget your limit there because um, you don't want to just put you know, your algebra next to it. You want to make sure you have your limit each time or just put an arrow because that equal sign is really important um, that you have your limit there because that's what we're talking about is equal to the limit. Okay, we're going to multiply x plus h out. So we're going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Um, I forgot. Sorry, guys. That's just f of x. My, sorry, that's f of x plus minus f of x. So x squared plus 2x minus 1. All right, so we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply x plus h out. So we're going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2x plus 2h. I got that by distributing that. Minus 1 minus x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by h. Okay. So now, usually what happens is in the numerator, things are going to cancel out so that way you have everything has an h in it so we can factor an h. That's pretty much the, the, the way all of these work out. Okay? Well, pretty much. You're going to see one that I do in just a second that it's, it's a little different. So what, what should happen? Things should cancel out with leaving you just with h's. Uh, we've got an x squared here, an x squared there, a minus 2x, and a plus 2x there, and a plus 1 and a minus 1. And look what happened. We got 2x plus h plus h squared plus 2h all over h. So notice that we have, um, that's a 2xh, everyone. So notice every term has an h, so we're going to factor out the h. Limit as h approaches 0. Factor out the h on top. And those h's cancel out. And then now we can plug in 0 for h. And when we plug in 0 for h, we get 2x plus 2. And that's our derivative. All right? Simple enough. Let's take a look at another example. Again, we're just using this h um, definition here. So we've got, again, we've got the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So for this one here, um, we've got g of x is x square root of x plus 1. So g of x, f of x, same difference, right? So uh, limit as h, oops, f prime of x is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h. So in this case, g of x plus h. So we're going to have square root of x plus h plus 1, minus g of x, square root of x plus 1, all over h. Now, this one's a, a little kind of a tricky guy here because we can't um, simplify the top just by itself. And I know you were taught a lot in algebra 2, algebra 1, whatever, that we need to make sure we don't have any square roots in the denominator. But actually, we're going to want to 
get these square roots in the denominator to simplify the numerator. So what we're gonna do is anytime we see square roots, we're gonna use the um, conjugate of that square root. So I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate, x plus h plus one, plus square root of x plus one. All right, so we're just multiplying by the conjugate. Anytime you see a square root, all right, so what's that gonna get us going here? Um, we're going to simplify this, the top here, and we're gonna, the conjugate's gonna eliminate those square roots nicely. And the bottom, I'm just gonna keep it like this. I really can't do much. And I know that the H has to cancel out in the denominator for me to work with this. So remember just to keep that in mind as you go along through your problems is that H needs to cancel out somehow. That denominator cannot have that H in there. You can't have a zero in the denominator. All right, so this is gonna simplify to um, these minus X's are gonna cancel out and the one and the minus one because when I distribute. All right, so I'm gonna have H on top h times the square root of x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1. And there we go. Got it down. All right. So limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over square root of x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1. So now we plug in our 0 and see what happens. We'll plug in 0 for h, and we're going to get uh, 1 over square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1, which is 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1. And that is our derivative, all right? So there were two examples of using the limit definition of the derivative to find the derivative. Catch you next time, guys. Nice out. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Ha. Huh.